soup is really good. I think you like soup, you just don't like a certain kind of soup. Don't like soup, but miso is good. Ren, you don't like soup too? I think we've been through this. I think we've been over this. See, I, th I think that you all like soup. I think that you're lying to me. Don't like to drink out of a bowl. You're not a dog. Well, see, like, Punker, that's, I mean, you know, that's like your opinion. Oh, shit. Oh, this is not, this is not where I was going. Let me up. Let me, let me up. God damn it. This is gonna work. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm gonna, it's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You think I can just All jump on. right over there? No. <laughs> don't like soup, but I devour chicken noodles. See? Like, that's a soup. What do you mean you don't like soup? You've named two soups that you like already. This this I hate soup thing is just, you know, and I don't buy it. Everybody likes Look, soup. Mushroom soup is good if you know how to season it. That's mm -hmm. all I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Drinking the broth is the best part of ramen. I agree. I really like a broth. That's why I like cereal so much. The milk gets all, all cereal flavored, you know? <laughs> you skip drinking the broth? Oh my god. Goodness, Punker! Don't don't you ever don't you ever say no nonsense like that again. The weird architecture of this level reminds me of something, but I can't quite place my finger on what it is now. Uh. Um. Am I just eating shit here? I don't remember. Hang on. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> don't like soup, it's but ramen broke. and cereal are bomb hard diggity. Cut out. Hardboard cutout power. I'll throw that. Oh. That would have been smart. I got the I got the things. Okay. I got them That's bottles. That's what matters. <laughs> That's scary. At the end of the line. No, there has to be another way, though, because I know that there's not really a spot where that's required. That's just the only thing I can think of. There had to be another way. Right, maybe. Oh. Well, I just ran raccoon first into the fucking spiky log. That really shouldn't have hit, honestly. <laughs> Hitbox porn. Yeah, yeah. I was I was gonna mention that Sly definitely sound very pleased with that with that hitbox there. You're like, oh. Man, those hitboxes were screwing me over on Mega Man X4 earlier. I swear that that freaking general boss and his big ass armor thing. Wait, pain in my behind. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, you didn't quite witness the struggle there, but I I was kind of shocked that I even got him with all that nonsense going on. I think I figured it out. Oh, fucking duh. How did I not see that? <laughs> of course. Yeah, and then the falling strike on him again. Very good, very good. I must have, like, blinked the first time you were up there and didn't even see that. Yeah, I missed it, too. Oh, they're talking to me!
Basically, this gator is pissed at you because you woke up her pet and you're messing with her plans. Well, you know what? Too bad. Good morning. <laughs> Make better plans, lady. Don't be a part of the people that killed my dad. Cooper Cooper. <laughs> you know, it would have been funnier if that was just actually his name, honestly. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure like whenever I was little that's what I thought his name was. I mean considering the games never actually validated it, it was just a weird magazine. That might as well have been the case. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Oh. Hope I can make this jump. Yeah, nice. that's why they have a bit of leniency. I know it is possible to make that even if all the wooden planks are gone, but it's pretty damn difficult. Yeah, it was a little tight. It was definitely a little tight. Man, goddammit. We're gonna have to hop down there. More there more there is a cushion. Just those, specifically? Now I gotta go all the way back? Oh, man. Oh, oh, <laughs> I was freaking out for a second. <laughs> this is definitely one of the more intensive stages in terms of getting all the clue bottles, but I don't know. I mean, at least once you get them, like, it's not so much hard to find them. It's just time consuming because you got to keep backtracking when you do get them successfully. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to have, like, a shortcut back up once you find them or something. Yeah, yeah. But that's okay, that's alright, I get it. Luckily, navigating and platforming in this game feels pretty good, so I don't mind running back for things. It's responsive anyway. Yeah. <sighs> We're fine. This is fine. <laughs> No problem, I just took the wrong path. I will say, I feel like the jumps in this game are a little bit less frustrating than some of the jumps in Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Crash Bandicoot is just fucking... Aw, oh, man, sometimes it is just deviously hard for no reason. Because I think in this game, they figure that falling down already wastes a good bit of time for you trying to get back up, so that's enough of a punishment, almost. Yeah. Yeah. I did not realize that was water. <laughs> I definitely thought that was land, based on how it's, like, coming above the... It looked like land anyway, yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. <laughs> oh well. The source of all the soup? Are we going to destroy the soup? The magic mucka. Oh. This is Punker's, like, favorite place. <laughs> bye bye, Sue. Why? Because we're getting rid of all the disgusting green soup, like Bentley said. Don't you hate disgusting green soup? Oh, yes, he says. See? I knew. I knew you weren't a disgusting green soup fan. Hey. Very cool. Punker hates... Punker hates any soup except for ramen. Sir. 
Cyberpunker is suit. To be straightforward enough. It's true. This power, I gotta think what this would be. Slow motion technique. Slow down time whenever you want, not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle button to use it. All right, it made my my slow motion forever instead of just while yeah. jumping. So now you can activate that anytime by holding triangle and not just when you're in the air. Pretty nice for right now specifically on this fast thing. It's definitely going to help with tight platforming and like hairpin moments later. Yeehaw. Booty Guardian, you are a Slurpee? Is that an innuendo for something? Let's hope not. <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> Always, says Booty Guardian. Alright, okay, well, unfortunately, Blue... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's it's a shooter. It's a shooter. It's a dual stick shooter. Yeah. Just one second, Chad. <laughs> at least. I, I'm pretty sure we're done with the clue bottles in this world, so we don't have much of anything to worry about. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. Makes it easier, anyway. All right, just just had to just had to go to my chatting screen for no reason in particular. Yeah. Parish, what is up, my man? Two months. Hello, welcome in, buddy. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Always a sick, sick, sick man who needs to be stopped, says Booty Guardian. Sick does add some spice. Punker, sleep well. Where did he come from? I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, this isn't good. Okay, I think we're fine, we're fine. Oh, Alright, oh, oh, oh. we should be oh, still, the Gucci. Oh, what the fuck? Sir, mm -hmm. go to sleep. <laughs> I just need a nice. Minute. I just need a minute. I hope someone in your chat clipped this in. <laughs> nice. That was a gauntlet y'all were fighting through. <laughs> that spot's always real fun. I love that place. Oh, thank you very much for shouting Parish out. Everyone go give Parish a follow if you love some wholesome energy. If you want to get some wholesome energy up in you, go give Parish a follow. Remember, you can always All right. shoot in one direction while moving in another. Okay. Time to get this dual stick shooter action on the road. Yeah, this honestly isn't too difficult. You just gotta remember to aim for the tombstones, otherwise the ghosts will keep coming. Yeah, that's that's not too bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> That clip gives you Dark Souls PTSD. Man, Dark Souls is a hell of a game. That's understandable. That is more than understandable, even. It, I think it actually took me like a year to beat Dark Souls the first time that I played it. Granted, I was playing on a laptop and it was also Dark Souls Prepare, prepare to Die, which is like a bad, poorly optimized version. Ah, okay, yeah, that'll do it to ya. Mm-hmm. But it did. It took me, like, a straight year. And shit's real loud again all of a sudden. Yeah, the sound effects in this mission are a little fucky. Not gonna lie. Alright, well. Might be a little bit loud for a minute, chat. We'll just, we'll scream at you to yell so that you can hear us. Just some light yelling. Ooh. Like that. <laughs> just just like that. <laughs> I didn't even have anything in mind when I did that. Just like randomly 
I, I was gonna say, dude, have you been practicing? That was good. No. <laughs> well, I usually keep up over the top renditions of, like, some weird song a theater performer or a guy on a YouTube video will do. Like, I'm back to no show down. for the boss team here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone could hear that, but that was uh, that was good. That was good. No, it wasn't. I don't even practice that song. That was, that was excellent. That was excellent. I could for sure hear it. <laughs> see Booty Guardian, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> you think that's bad? You think that's bad? You see me do Hercules. Let's not do Hercules. Oh, uh, can you go the distance? Yeah. I remember, or, I swear, it's always the weirdest conversation I gotta have with people. Because everybody knows, like, the actual celebrities that do most of the Disney songs, but whenever you bring up the fact that Michael Bolton was the one who did go the distance, everyone gets kind of finicky about it. I don't even really like Michael Bolton, but his version of the song is a pretty damn good song, honestly. What's wrong with Michael Bolton? I mean, I'm not crazy about his music, but I don't have a problem with him, per se. Some people just actively had a problem with him ever since the 90s. Gotcha. I mean, I'm sure he's probably done some celebrity shit. He is a celebrity. But, like... Yeah. Yeah. I only know him from that one Lonely Island song where he's he's talking about Jack Sparrow. That was... Uh, yeah, that was fucking nonsense right there. Oh, wow. It's kind of weird. No, none of the Lonely Island guys were in a Pirates movie after that, were they? I feel like that's just not a They don't even got to sing the song. They just got to be in the Pirates movie. It's like a little wink and a nod there. Right? Yeah. Come on, Disney. Make it happen. No, they're not. Yeah, they won't. They do need to recast Jack Sparrow, though. They could just get... Um... I was going to say Jesse Eisenberg. That's not the guy. Andy Samberg. Yeah, they could just get Andy Samberg to play Jack. It's like perfect casting. Alright, All right, it's gonna get loud again. This is the epicenter of the nonsense. Oh god, man, that right ghost keeps hitting me from the back. It's okay, once you get one tombstone out of the way, the rest is way easier. That is true. Get Andy Samberg to play Andy Samberg on a boat. Instant pirate movie. And T Pain. I don't know if. I don't know if it would have mattered but it might be possible if you, like, stay very far to one side, you might be able to get them to start off one by one rather than all together gunning at you. Oh. I don't know if that would actually work, but I assume it could. Um. Do we gotta hit the torches? What are we doing? Supposed to be good. Did we miss something? Um. Oh! I just, I had to drive to the right spot, I guess. That's bizarre. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, I guess it kind of makes sense, but, like, you would float down for the wind condition. Like, that's that what's supposed nice. to happen. It's supposed to float down, and then you get it. Oh, maybe it just bugged out and stayed up there. That's probably what happened. I don't know. Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo. Okay, we, we've been through this. We've been through this badly. This, this next mission is fucking dumb. Like, there's no getting around it. Down home cooking. Yeah. Welcome to the dumbest premise in the game by a country mile. Mm. You'll see when you get up there. I think it's on an upper level or something. Oh, okay. There is a way up then. Oh, it's in this house over here. Oh, boing. 
Okay, all right, okay, all right. Down home cooking. That's my favorite kind of cooking. But yeah, you actually live in the oh, south, so you get good barbecue food. Here, the barbecue southern style food gonna in Virginia was like that was pretty much. No I don't even want to describe it as actual Joe's southern style cooking. Hey, that's an insult to them. I've um I've seen some pictures and it's definitely sad. If you can whack fifty chickens, dude, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat off that many chickens in time. I'm not even gonna lie to you, that is a lot of cocks. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're an expert out. at beating cocks. Fair, fair. <laughs> oh, it's shit! Like dumbest key in the entire game, honestly. Yeah, what's up with all these cocks? I don't know if going in here it might, just because of the stupid monsters. I, I mean, <laughs> I think I got it. Love the rooster. Oh. Oh. I see, the cock just kills you. Yeah. They've come to knock the rooster. Yeah! They've come to whack the rooster! I mean, I guess oh, the good... Yeah. Since this is just a minigame type thing, it's like... It doesn't matter, because it's, that's all there is. Oh my god. I've been cock-bombed. It's way worse than being cock-blocked, trust me. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Man, did y'all see me swipe three cocks at once? <laughs> I'm so glad Punker is asleep. <laughs> All of these quotes. <laughs> oh. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, bro. This is gonna take a little while. Hey, listen, if I can beat the, the final boss of X4 as zero, I think you can do. Okay, this is much more for him. That's fair. I need to remember my training. Exactly. Whatever that training was. Oh my 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 cock my cock training. You know, yeah. My cock whacking training. Man, kiting these chickens around is working pretty good. You're lucky my laptop ain't got the beans for making cock meeting clips. Hey, yo! <laughs> what, what's, what's up? What's that, booty cart? <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> Booty Guardian's trying to make some cock beating clips. <laughs> God damn it. I feel like it's weird that Booty Guardian's the one making these clips. You know what I mean? <laughs> I had three cocks left and I was laughing too hard. That's the plan. Tragic. Yeah. You'll get takes a little while. I'd like to imagine that for people that actually do hunt these runs, this has to be a major one killer for them. Because I no, really don't know sure. to consistently lab this out, aside from just hunting here with multiple horseshoes or something. Oh my god! Okay, I had a horseshoe this time, though. Yeah, that'll do. Not too bad. Yeah, staying close to the, uh, to the gate is a dangerous fucking game. Well, 
Whoa. Alright, come on. Come on. Nice. Nice. Tittle, you were tuned out? Well, welcome back, buddy. You got back just in time to watch me beat some cocks. Okay, now, we are going to be fighting some cocks. This is a rhythm-based boss fight. As such, it is kindly important that you have full attention. So, this is a perfect excuse for me to step away and get myself a bowl of ice cream so I don't have to coke on the Be back. <laughs> Blue just wanted some ice cream. <laughs> you didn't, Basically. You didn't need an excuse, buddy. You could have just gone and got you some ice cream. Now, I will tell you that pay very close attention to the, to the noises she makes during the rhythm phases. She's saying, dig that voodoo, which is, that's, that's like some Grand Kirk Hope Ecom Tokum nonsense right there. If this were an N64 game, I'd imagine they'd have to do some type of weird soundbite manipulation to get that going. Oh. Dig that voodoo. I'm down for it. Where do we go? came from over there. Can we just, do we just go through the... No, that was from the other side too. Okay, we unlocked this thing. Oh! Oh, of course. Alright. Let's dance. Coming most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, slap. Burger Wife, hey. I hope I'm having a great stream. You're waiting for a comedy show to start. Well, I hope you enjoy the comedy stream. I hope you're having a good evening. It's good to see you, Burger Wife. I hear yo lips are flapping. See you in the next world, Slack Koopa. What do you what do you mean you're waiting for him to start? I'm right here, Burger Wife. That's cool. It's like the the jaws of a. Come back here. Can't oh. run away forever. Quiet tree. Quiet tree. Does my Discord have an NSFW channel? No nudity, but the animation is gross. I don't. I don't have an NSFW channel in my Discord because I'm not. I'm not really looking for like porn and stuff to get to get posted in there, but I, I don't I don't mind grossness. That's fine. Like like blood and gore and stuff, that's that's fine. Not not like real blood and gore, probably. I don't really want to see all that, but like, you know, you know I don't mind seeing a video game guy get ripped in half, right? It'll just spoiler it, that works. That works. A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Voodoo Simon says. Oh, come on. I pushed it. Get out of here. Hmm. I'd like to come see Dana Hayes with me and my friends. Bop, bop, bop. Boop, boop, boop. Dig that dig. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm not understanding. Bags are already packed. Nice.
What? <laughs> what do you mean? Why is it funny? Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Did I just, did I just need not push it fast enough? <laughs> what, the, what, the, what the fuck? Why is circle not inputting sometimes? What is what is going on? She's frying your ass. Yeah, man. I'm, she's adding me to the soup. Okay, I'm I'm pushing it too soon. I just started mashing it and it worked. Aha! Aha! Alright, okay, okay, okay. I'm too quick. I'm too quick, I'm too fast, I'm too furious. Too fast for y'all, man. That's right. Please! <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that whole first section again. Fuck Lamal. Yeah, yeah, mm hmm, yeah. <laughs> let her cook. No! Don't let her cook. Get me out of this soup. I don't want to be in this goddamn soup anymore. Yeah, this is a... It, the issue is so much how long this whole fight takes. Like, this is the longest fight in the game, aside from the final boss. My timing is also, like, too fast or something. It would be so nice if we could actually just like skip through these midpoint cutscenes, but no, we've got Kingdom Hearts 1 syndrome. I wanna see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, yeah, okay, all right, okay. Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Dig, dig, dig. <laughs> you can just mash. That's not viable, though, because the last phase, they get wicked fast, and you don't want to miss him with that shit. Okay, fair enough. It worked pretty good in this first section. It worked pretty good in that first section. Let me tell you, I got through that first section way faster than the first nine times. Mm. 
No problem. Dig, dig that voodoo. Kind of looks like a Pal World pal. Gator, get him out of here. Got some rhythm, See, I've got rhythm. So there we go. That was pretty straightforward, at least. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Mugshot for sure harder. First time. Yeah, yeah first time. This is definitely just like the, the, the biggest thing with this is just paying attention and like making sure you're Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71 burdened Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Lugelia, hello, welcome. What's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. I like how it had to specify the production of zombies was illegal. Don't you mean the reanimation? You don't really produce the zombies. You the time produce... I needed to well, you know, that would get this game above you, rating. Nice. Yeah. Zombie production. <laughs> Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. I remember this guy too. The Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. This is a sick-ass world, but you're going to be seeing some weird shenanigans here, trust me. Booty Guardian, did you say Latin hottie whenever Carmella Fox showed up? No, that's what it said in the newspaper, actually. That's, I'm not blaming Booty Guardian for that. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was in the newspaper? <laughs> yeah, the in-game newspaper calls her that. <laughs> Man, no, you got we... lucky. You got fucking lucky this time, Booty Guardian. <laughs> you got so lucky. What are you trying to insinuate me for? You know, you know goddamn well. You know good and well. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, Lugelia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make good ton content, you love to see it. Lugelia's been playing a whole lot of Baldur's Gate lately, and also a little bit of Pal World. So you're, if you've been around me long enough, you're probably into both of those. So you should definitely check them out. Lugelia's super cool Swedish streamer. 
Um, I can I can I can only sing their praises so much. <laughs> very very highly recommend. Listen, there's a weird discrepancy with the in-game newspaper that this game 100% should not have been rated E. Okay, so the end of this chapter, there's you're gonna see in the top left corner of the newspaper it says the words "Dude, that's kick-ass," and I have no idea how they got away with that. That's pretty kick-ass. Yeah. Oh, you're getting back into Elden Ring 2, Lugelia. You're going to try it with crowd control. I looked into that a little bit. That looked interesting, but I don't know if that's something that I would do. Like, I feel like I would get way too frustrated. Now, maybe only up with crowd control. <laughs> would you look at that? A fireworks show! Latin hotties kick ass, dude. I don't know if I, if I would say that this world is easier than the last, but it's definitely it's more visually clear what you have to do anyway. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. It looks fun. Hell yeah, I'll definitely be there. I'll be there to check it out, my man. Who knows? Maybe maybe you'll do it, and then I'll be like, okay, yeah, yeah that that looks like something I would do. Just wanted to enjoy a succulent Chinese meal. Did you, Booty Bird? Is that right? Okay, that thing has a weird hitbox. Whoa, shit. Don't look down, Shrek! Shrek! <laughs> Some ep epic draw distance here, honestly. I can go invisible now? Yes. That's Sly Tut Common signature move. Huh. Interesting. Oh, it comes in handy. All raccoons can me. do that. If I'm not mistaken. Can we just talk about how that guy, like, genocided an entire village because they called just him poor? He just recreated the scene from Mulan is what happened there. Yeah. Not an original joke. I definitely stole that one from somewhere, but yeah. Yeah. Maybe this Avalanche. is the weird karma thing balancing out. You know, we saved, we saved Mexico from the zombies, but unfortunately we couldn't save this village from the firework. Right. I mean, out of the two things, I think a zombie outbreak would probably be the worst one, right? Probably. Is this a monkey with ninja swords? Why, yes it is. Dude, this level is cool. How'd you know I, I would like it? <laughs> Was it the monkey with ninja swords? Is that what gave it away? <laughs> Oh, there's going to be some fun shenanigans here. There is one stage that we're going to encounter kind of soon. It's pretty annoying because they hide the clue bottles in a really weird spot. I'm going to have to save to you when we get there. Mm. Yeah, this one, because Miss Ruby had three gimmick missions. This world only has two. So that's going to be, I mean, it'll take a little longer, I think, but we'll get there. At least here we can actually see where we're going. It's not the dark swamp again. Right on. Hey, I mean, I'm down for some more, like, mission missions. That stuff's cool. Yeah. Really, I'm excited to play through Sly 2. Like, it, playing through these games, it really just, like, has made me excited to play the other games. <laughs> no offense to Sly 1, but it's just... It definitely feels like a blueprint, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can agree with that. Not even in a bad way, either. Just, like... It's a result of the times in the sense that, you know, this game was pretty early. He has two lifespan, so they yep. wanted to really flesh it. <laughs> yeah. And you can, you can definitely feel all the influences this one has on the second and third. Like, it's... It's for sure, like... It's there, you know?
I'm still really enjoying it, though. I gotta say, this is still really fun. Maybe I'm biased, but... So, Blue, what was what was your exposure to this game? Did you did you play this game growing up, too? Yeah, so what had happened was, I remember seeing commercials for this game when I was a little kid, but we didn't have a PS2 at the time. They were doing... You cut out. You said they were doing what? Oh no. Blue? Second place winners got a copy of Sly 2, and we entered. Didn't win, but I think my brother decided to get Sly 2 just out of curiosity, because, you know, we saw it advertised so much, it looked like a decent game, so we enjoyed it. We ended up retroactively getting the first one because we liked the second one so much, and then we got Sly 3 and 4 on release day when they came out years later. Nice. Okay, so a long-time Sly fan. Hell yeah. I, Absolutely, um, yeah. I don't remember if it was my dad or my uncle who had it, but for a while, my dad and my uncle lived right next to each other, so me and my cousin, we would all sit in front of the PlayStation and play Sly Cooper... And, you know, fighting games and that kind of thing. And, um... Yeah, Sly Cooper was definitely one of the first ones that uh, the whole... The whole Snort clan would just, just come and sit down around the PlayStation and play. Pass the controller around. Be like, alright, I'm gonna do this level, you get to do the next one, you know? Oh! God damn it. Oh! I hit the key like a normal guy, not like an idiot this time. <laughs> I get normal guy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, no, I I love I love me some Sly Coopers. Let me tell you, little furry guy. Same. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't know where the others are. We they could be way further back, so. We may have to just come back here later at some point, or something, I don't know. Because the one problem with this stage is, it's not really the easiest to backtrack if I remember right. But do you remember right? Probably. Mm, probably not. It was probably somewhere near the entrance, like with that weird ice wall or something. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, I don't really remember what powers are left in the vault. Uh, the only one I can think of offhand is we don't take damage when we fall into a bottomless pit. The other ones I don't remember. And oh. yeah, that one's overpowered, of course. That one is real nice. Yeah. Oh, I guess this is why it would be kind of hard to backtrack. Ah, I got it. J jump and it's press doable. the circle button! <laughs> Thank you, Serenity. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know it. It's good to see ya. How's it going, Serenity? I hope you're having a good one. Alright. I'm not seeing anything obvious. At least yet. Yeah, but that's a problem. These never are obvious. Oh yeah. Around think... some. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. You can make that. How are you? It's been a while. It has. I'm doing well. Playing some some of the some of the one of my favorite childhood games, like Cooper, with one of my favorite buddies, General Blue. And we are we are having a blast. At least I am. Oh yeah. Yeah, making that bridge jump was actually one of the harder parts there. Mm-hmm. Hey, hello. Yeah, I don't know where... I gotta think where it would even be. I'm listening. I'm listening real hard. For little... The stage is pretty linear, so there really shouldn't be that many hidey holes for it. Right? Like, how did I miss two? They're probably both of them just dinking around somewhere under something. Oh, there's one. They... Huh. I was about to... Literally, I was just about to say there might be one inside a mini vault or something. 
<laughs> There's one just straight out in the open right by the start of the stage. Well, the other one's got to be near here, right? Because there's really nowhere else to go, I don't think. Right? You know, we can make a pass for that when in with a tree, but... <laughs> Reminds me of that red dog-looking guy name. You mean Crash Bandicoot? It is that same era of PlayStation game. This one's kind of more focused on stealth a little bit. What's up, Blue? I was saying it's got to be around here somewhere. Did you check, like, the other side of this? That's not it. Where the frick is it? You'd think it would be, like, hiding among the trees or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it for sure, it for sure is kind of like a, a Crash Bandicoot-esque game. The second and third and fourth go way more into the stealth side of it, and it's it's definitely got its own identity, without a doubt, but, um... Yeah. Uh, yeah, the those first are one... I'm sorry, what blue? I said, those are functionally, like, way different games in design. You know, this one is a lot more straightforward. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where the hell it could be. Me neither. <laughs> we've been we've been through it twice now. Hyped for Elden Ring DLC? Oh, you know it. You know it. The the lore implications, honestly, that's probably what I'm the most hyped for, but it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be insane. As soon as you get past these falling ice shards, take a good long look around the open area. It's gotta be hidden somewhere among something. Sounds good. Ooh. My speedrun strats are, uh... Biting me, biting me in the ass every now and then. Was a good effort, though. <clears throat> Save up 137 million runes. God damn. Did you lose them? <laughs> <laughs> That's what always happens to me whenever I save that many ruins. I just die. And there they go. Die twice. Alright. I have no idea. That is for sure 29 out of 30. See some traders you'll find all and buy everything, then spend the rest on some useless bullshit. Nice. Right on. Right on. I know it's not up here, but, like, I don't know where else it could be. Hmm, it's gotta be out in the open somewhere, like you said. Would it show me on the binoculars through stuff? No, that's... you'd have to get the power-up from this world that would show you that, which I think we can get in a later stage, oh. but... We have to come back here for that, then. Oh, 
I found it. Oh, sh <laughs> sure enough. Of course, always <laughs> something. The <laughs> is, I mean, we still needed to backtrack because there was that one at the intro that, that had been missed. So it happens. Yep. That one straight at the start. But we were like, where the fuck is this other one? <laughs> All right, what is this? <gasps> Huckleberry Cooper. He's been mentioned before in this game. I I know it. Cool. That's actually a pretty good upgrade. I'm glad I spent that hour looking for that fucking bottle. Because now I yeah, can do this. Yeah, this is functionally just an extension. Uh, there's. I don't know how often this really comes up. It might be kind of good for snaking through a later stage because one of the stages in this world is based around the invisibility power. So this at least moves things a little bit faster. Right. Just a little bit of movement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Serenity. Serenity, we've actually been talking about speed runs of this game, like pretty much the whole time, just kind of speculating how it would work. I don't know that I'll... Whoa! Sir? He just fell the fuck off. All right, all right. He just jumped off. Oh, could he not make it over that little little poop of of snow there? Huh. Well, rip. But no, we've we've been talking about like how a speedrun of this game would even work like more or less the entire time, Serenity. We think it would take some shenanigans. Well, I know that in terms of, like, actual professional speedrunning, uh, not 100% completions, but just getting to the end of the game, there's weird out-of-bounds shit they do that basically turns the game into a boss rush. It helps them avoid almost any treasure keys and everything like that. Oh. I don't know how the hell it works, though. It's like some real complicated shenanigans. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old Ocarina of Time speedrun. Where you glitch just through the sky straight to Ganon. <laughs> Alright, we got another level. Cool. So this is the invisibility stage then. Through the window! So it is Bentley. To drop out of sight. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. Makes sense. Thank you, Bentley. Sly, jump and hit the circle button. I know you just saw that bottle break. Get out of here. <laughs> Some of the worst guards I ever seen in my life. Too much monkey in around. I've just, I've left the sticks the same way, and it's fucking me up. It's inverted for some reason, the left and right. Ooh. Yeah, this place, the Master Thief Sprint, is fucking wild because of how bad the lasers can just come and snipe you there. Like yeah, that one no. where it was basically a laser grid coming at you, you dodged that pretty damn tightly. That would be pretty crazy, I can only imagine. Wow, that thing stayed going forever. I did not expect that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that too, actually. Wowee. Wow. 
Okay. That's unfortunate. He has a wicked bald spot. Did you see that? No, I didn't actually. His like his hat was gone, so it was just the inside of his head. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, now I remember sometimes when he sinks in water in the in the second game, he does that like dramatically. I guess I always assumed it's just the way his fur is bent. But yeah, mm -hmm. it does kind of look like a bald spot since he's humanoid. Mmm. Oh no, it, it wasn't. It, he didn't do the animation. His hat was just gone. It wasn't yeah. the like, take the hat off animation. Yeah, I know, but I mean, when he does take the hat off in other games, it looks like that. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Speedrun strats, baby! Not even that bad. Yeah, the second one lasts way less long. <laughs> I don't think that's how I was supposed to get down there, but it worked. Who's to say supposed to? Mm. Almost? Nah, nah, nah. Not even. Not even almost. Alright. Bada bing. Bada boom. Kick point. Almost went the right way? Oh. Well, no, 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 no. I wanted to go down there and grab those two bottles. There were two bottles just sitting there waiting for me. Yeah, most of the rest of these power-ups are actually kind of superfluous, I'd say. But again, the not, the not falling in pits thing does matter quite a lot. Right. Actually, one of the power-ups we can't get until beating the final boss. You'll know it when you see it. Oh. Interesting. After this level blue, I'm going to have to take just a little break to let out the That's dogs fine. and feed them. That's fine with me. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And, you know, everybody at home can take a little break, stretch their legs, get some water, refresh your popcorn. I will probably do that, yeah. 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 A little bit of popcorn does the soul good. Nice. I was hoping those would break as I went down. Oh! Whoa! That baboon is moving! It's probably not a baboon. It's probably some other kind of monkey. It was close. It was close. <laughs> ah, okay. See, I had a sneaking suspicion that I was missing something. 